Good morning and welcome to your daily operations weather briefing. Well, we've got cloudy skies to start the day today, but we are going to see a little bit of precipitation in the form of some light snow work its way into the region later tonight. We'll remain dry throughout uh, most of the day today. It looks like that uh, snow will hold off until after the uh, workday hours here and probably uh, start to see a little bit of precipitation move into the region after about 5 o'clock tonight. Looking at our current surface analysis, you can see that precipitation breaking out across the deep south. That's going to be that area of low pressure that moves across the southeast and off the Carolina coast later tonight that will bring that precipitation to our region. We are going to see a lot of cloudiness today, as you can see here on our infrared satellite and uh, <clears throat> that will just be uh, continuing to thicken up as we go throughout the uh, next few hours and into the afternoon. Uh, we will see those clouds uh, remaining overcast uh, for us for the remainder of the day. I want to look here at our uh, model simulation and what we can expect as we go throughout the evening hours tonight. You can see here by uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon all that precipitation still well south and west of our area and as we go into the uh, later portions of the afternoon we'll start to see a little bit of precipitation <clears throat> make its way into the region uh, by about 5 o'clock this afternoon this is 5 p.m. you can see a little bit of light rain activity off to the southern portion of the Delmarva Peninsula at this point it looks like uh, temperatures are running a little bit warmer uh, for us uh, for the forecast here for the next uh, several hours today and into the evening hours than what it looked like yesterday so we may actually see some of this precipitation begin as a little bit of light rain throughout the area before transitioning to light snow uh, later this evening. Here you go at 7 p.m. starting to see some of that light snow across the Wallops area and continuing into the evening hours. It should be a very quick moving system so by midnight tonight most of that uh, activity will be starting to push off the coast. You can see a few lingering uh, light snow showers uh, through about 2 o'clock in the morning but it looks like it'll be a pretty quick hitter and by uh, tomorrow morning all that precipitation will be well off the coast and we should see dry conditions as we wake up Friday morning. I want to take a look here at our uh, European Ensemble uh, model forecast. This is a uh, pretty good gauge on snowfall amounts throughout the region. This matches up pretty close to what our forecast is here out of the Wilds Weather Office and as you can see uh, about an inch indicated in this dark gray uh, shading here throughout the uh, central and northern portions of Accomack County. As you go north throughout central Delmarva, you can see the uh, snow amounts really drop off pretty quickly, only looking at uh, maybe a half an inch at most around the uh, Salisbury area and lesser amounts off to the northern portion of the Delmarva Peninsula. So the farther south you go, the more snow uh, chances you'll have later this evening as that uh, precipitation should be a little bit uh, heavier as it falls later on this evening. But uh, not a big event for us, but uh, we have not really had any snow at all this winter, so uh, this is our best chance of seeing some light accumulations across the area uh, that we have seen uh, so far this year. Looking at our current weather out there, just a little bit of cloudiness at the 14,000 foot level, overcast deck at 20,000 feet with unrestricted visibilities. There's winds out of the northeast at around 7 knots, temperature at 35 degrees as of 8 a.m., and our relative humidity at 61%. So as we look at the next 24 hours, again, the uh, chances for precipitation begin uh, later this afternoon after about 5 o'clock, and I do think we'll probably start off with some light rain here right at the beginning. Uh, maybe mixing with a little bit of snow. Uh, just a slight chance after around 5 o'clock. A better chance as we get past 6 or 7 o'clock as the uh, precipitation moves into the region. Seeing that uh, light snow falling uh, and continuing through about midnight tonight before coming to an end around 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, by tomorrow morning we'll see mostly cloudy skies early and then seeing that sun uh, really start to uh, work its way into the forecast later in the morning hours and especially during the afternoon we'll see abundant sunshine breezy conditions tomorrow with uh, those north northeasterly winds around 12 to 17 knots gusting to around 24 knots for your friday we'll see mostly sunny and chilly conditions with a high of 38 friday night seeing mostly clear and cold conditions with a low of 23 and for saturday sunny and pleasant with a daytime high of 50 degrees so after we get past this system tonight, we'll see uh, high pressure really build into the region and seeing uh, pretty nice conditions for this weekend. 
that'll wrap it up for today's daily operations weather briefing. We'll be back again at 10 a.m. for another look at this uh, snow event and for the next seven days. Have a nice day.